let's begin by removing the original system on this 1977 Z28. We begin our installation by installing the rear tail pipe headers. Slide your driver's side rear tailpipe through your newly installed hanger. Bring the second piece of the driver's side tailpipe over the axle and connect the two. Repeat with the passenger side tailpipes. Raise both mufflers into position and connect to tailpipes. Here we used muffler stands to aid in installation. Here you will need to line up your X-pipe for cutting. Make sure there is clearance for your front X legs to go through the transmission cross member hubs. You want the center of your X to be about 8 inches to 12 inches behind the tail shaft. After you have ensured proper alignment, mark and then cut the rear X legs before sliding them into the mufflers. Be sure to check that the whole system is sitting level at this point. Slide both front X legs into the X pipe. Note that the X will not be directly under the center of the drive shaft. Slide your down pipes into the front X legs and rotate the pair upwards to attach to the manifold bolts. Check tailpipe clearance and begin installing your clamps. Make sure you do not fully tighten them at this point. Double check all throughout tailpipe for clearance once again. Begin moving forward and installing your clamps, continually going back and rechecking clearances throughout the process. After inspecting the rear of the system once more, begin to install the clamps for the rest of the X and for the downpipes. Afterwards, do one final inspection of the entire system before installing your muffler hangers and fully tightening the clamps. Loosen the clamp at the rear of each muffler. Insert and position the included muffler hangers before retightening the clamps. Use the included hardware to attach these muffler hangers to the rear seat. final inspection of all clamps and clearances, your install should be complete. It's now time to fire up your new pipes exam.